So, distinguishing between popular magazines and scholarly articles, um, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's difficult. Um, so let's talk about popular magazines first for a little bit. So these are typically publications that are aimed at a broad audience. Um, you, know, you might be able to pick them up in an airport. Anyone could read it. Uh, typically they're written at a you know kind of medium reading level. Um, but some key indicators will be um, the length of the article, whether or not there's citations explicitly in the article. Uh, popular articles will uh, they'll rarely have citations. Um, often they'll have a lot of pictures. If you have the physical magazine itself, you'll see a lot of advertisements. Um, on the websites of these popular magazines, you'll see advertisements there, as well as a lot of pictures. Um, sometimes you can tell just by the title of the publication or the title of the um, article, but often that's not going to give you the entire picture. It's kind of the sum total of all these different elements. So that's a popular magazine. You know, think Wired, Rolling Stone, Newsweek, Vibe, um, National Geographic. You get the idea. Whereas scholarly publications, they'll typically have journal of something or other in the title, Journal of Medicine, Journal of Communication. That'll give you a clue. Um, typically, the titles of the articles will be kind of these dense titles that you know seem pretty proper and serious. Um, a convention that happens a lot is there'll be um, two parts to a title, the colon between them. Uh, academic articles seem to like that. Um, citations, explicitly they'll have citations, reference list. Um, often there's very few pictures. If there are any images, typically there'll be graphs and charts showing the data. Um, academic articles, they can vary in length. It kind of depends on the discipline and on the um, on the actual specific publication, but typically there'll be lengthy works, uh, several pages. Um, now there's a special kind of academic or scholarly publication that, so by the way there, you can use academic or scholarly interchangeably, but there's a special kind which is called peer review, and for that kind of article, or sometimes it's the whole journal is peer-reviewed, um, the article is submitted by the author to a board of their peers, so they would be practitioners within the discipline, and those folks get the article and they'll review it, check the facts, analyze the data, um, that kind of thing. Uh, the peers aren't necessarily there to proofread or do the copy editing kind of tasks, but they're there to be the experts who are double checking things and vetting that the research looks solid. So that's a quick breakdown, scholarly versus popular, and we talked about peer review a little bit as well. Until next time.